Hi folks, um, I'm here talking about paper introductions today. Um, and just really, really briefly, what I'm looking at for my whole paper introduction are three basic things. Um, first one we're gonna talk about is the intention getter or the hook. Uh, this is just something to pull your reader in. Um, what can you tell them that's gonna get them interested about this subject, um, interested about your controversy? Usually I use an interesting fact or detail or statistic or maybe even a short story um, that's gonna start pulling that reader in. Um, next part I really wanna make sure we see is what it is we're writing about. And this is, we brainstormed some of this in your graphic organizer um, where we talked about what are some definitions we're gonna need to know. If you're talking about net neutrality, you better make sure people know what net neutrality is. Maybe people have a different definition in their mind. Talk about relevant background um, laws, like are there any laws going on right now that are uh, um, addressing your issue? Are there historical laws that have um, dictated precedent or governed your issue for a long time? Um, and then lastly, explain why this is important. Why should anyone care today um, about your topic? And this is where you can kind of introduce controversy. This is, you, you can say this is important because people are looking at this from very different ways. Here's one side of looking at it. Here's another side of looking at it. We're not arguing for these yet, um, for these different sides, but we can introduce them. And then the last section I want you to take a look at is uh, your scope and your research statement. Uh, scope is just what it is you're going to be talking about. Um, if you're talking about healthcare, healthcare is a huge industry, right? What specific pieces and parts are you gonna look at and research in this you know, four page paper? Um, and the research statement is sort of the same thing, is, is just a statement that says, Here's what this paper is going to do. Here's what we're looking at. Um, you can take a look at my examples and some sample papers and what that looks like. Um, remember for your introduction, these are still paragraphs. We need topic sentences, we need development, we need support, um, group similar ideas. For an introduction, I wouldn't worry too much about you know making sure every paragraph is nine sentences long. Um, my example has a couple of sentences that are two sentences long. Um, so as long as you're grouping similar ideas and, and focusing on topic sentences, you should be good. Um, the other part of introductions we're going to talk about are section introductions. This is, would be introducing your conclusion, introducing uh, those two different perspectives. And what I'm looking for here, these can be a lot shorter. These can be just a few sentences. They don't need to be a whole page. Um, I want you to overview, like here's what this side thinks. And then if you can, think about reviewing the background of this perspective. Here's what they think is good about my idea really, really briefly. And what this does is help you map out the arguments before you go into them in depth. So as a reader, I can think, OK, here's the perspective we're talking about. Here's what they believe. Here's why they believe it really briefly. And then in each of my body paragraphs, I'm going to go into one of those details uh, and go into more detail of why they believe what they believe. Um, I do have some great resources for you. So if you take a look at mrrestad.com, we're going on the resources section of our research paper and head on down to introductions. I've got what we just talked about highlighted there. Um, and I've also got some examples that I want you to open up and take a look at. Um, you'll notice if you open up example number one, you will see that this is my example. A um, couple things to point out. I do have a header. And that header does have the correct page numbers on it. I do have uh, my heading. I've got a title and I've got part one introduction. This is these are both centered. Um, I want these to be centered. So it's really clear to me to know what section of the paper I'm in. Um, when I get done with this, I will put. Section two. And then the name of perspective. Um, and take a look at how I write. This is a pretty short four sentence paragraph. This is a much longer paragraph. Um, and I think this, this is a one sentence paragraph. So don't worry about your paragraph length. Think about paragraph grouping. Um, and notice how I do take up about a full page. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know. Otherwise, good luck.